Hello and welcome to the ProR Essentials screencast. In this screencast you will learn how to use the ProR Essentials extension for comparing RecRF files using the diff tool. In order to do that you first need an installation of ProR. To do that you go to the Eclipse site of the RMF project eclipse.org slash rmf. There on the download page you'll find zip files containing the binaries for your platform. You download and expand them and then you can start ProR by double clicking on the executable which will first present you with the welcome screen with additional information. We dismiss it and in order to use the diff tool we first have to install the ProR essentials. To do that click on help, install new software and in the drop down of the works with dialog you'll find the essentials here. Select it and you'll see the ProR Essentials. Click through the dialog, confirm the license term terms and finish. After the installation you will need to restart ProR and then the diff tool is ready to be used. You have the option to register for the Formal Mind newsletter. And we encourage you to do that to stay informed about the latest features from the ProR Essentials. To use ProR, you first need to create a project by right clicking, selecting New Project. And you can just select a general project and we give it the name Demo. We need some RecRF files which I already have available and I simply import them with drag and drop on the project folder. I copy them, you could also link them. And now I have the two files in this folder. You can inspect them simply by double clicking, which will give you an overview with the document properties and the ability to open the specifications contained in that file. But what we want to do here is compare two files. So we select both of them, right click, select compare with each other. We select only the selected resources and then we get the following view. Let me maximize it to make it easier to see for you. So you now have a three pane view. The top view shows the changes in the model and it's actually a tree structure that reflects the RecRF tree structure as well. So you can open it up and you see all the changes here. And on the lower panes you see the two RecRF files, one on this side, the other one on the other side. And you can already see that color coding guides to inspect the differences. The easiest way to inspect differences is by using the arrows here to jump to the next change or the previous one. So here we see up here in the pane the spec object has been added and we see the new object on the left hand side. On the right hand side we see the point where that element has been inserted. So that way we can jump through all the changes and you can see that you can follow the changes between the two files with color coded lines. More interesting than in addition is an actual change. So here we have a spec object that has changed. So you see it's selected on both sides. And you see on one hand up here that the date stamp has been changed, but you can also inspect it by clicking on the properties view where you see the two modified attributes selected, highlighted next to each other, connected with a blue line. Jumping to the next change, this is actually an attribute value that has changed. You see here in parentheses the actual value that has changed from A2 initial to A2 ones. But you can also use the properties view again to see the two properties next to each other connected with a blue line. And this is essentially 
the core of the div tool. You can do a few more things here. For example, you could copy changes from one side to the other, or you can copy all changes from one side to the other. You can also combine this div tool with other Eclipse offerings. So for example, if you're using a versioning system like Subversion or Git to version your RecRF files, you could use this div tool to compare the differences between various versions. So we hope that this little introduction to the div tool has been useful for you and we look forward to getting feedback from you. Thank you very much.